I'd said from the pulpit last year that there was no need for anyone to sleep rough in Leicester. I was wrong, my information was hopelessly out of date. And then it so happened I met Salma and my outlook was changed and we set up this project together. Society of Britain, we've been doing work with homeless people for about two years now um, and I was aware that we had a gap in service on a Saturday. There was nowhere for the guys to go, there was nowhere that they could come in indoors from the wet and the cold weather. So I approached the church and I spoke to the vicar here, Glyn Richerby, and I said, look, I'd really like for us to do something together and here we are. So when the guys come in on a Saturday, we usually start them with like lots of hot drinks bring some hot food. It's usually a nice hot curry, so it keeps them going for the rest of the day. This is my second time here, and uh, I really found it very friendly and very kindly. It's really nice here. You get free cup of teas, and we get sometimes you get a cake. It does really, really help people. I just moved into a hostel and you have to buy your own food but I don't have any money so it means I get something to eat, <laughs> a decent meal as well. I'd recommend it to anyone, even if you're not homeless. <laughs> Volunteers are from such a varied background. We've got people who are from the congregation of St James the Great Church where we hold the sessions. We've got volunteers who are from the Islamic Society of Britain. Um, and then we've got other volunteers who've just found out about us through either something on the website or through word of mouth. I found out about this stop by through my church and I thought it'd be a good way to volunteer and help do something worthwhile. Nice friends I've made through this. I think it's fantastic because you hear the term like breaking down barriers. So I think that this is definitely something which kind of help to, you know, help to close the relationship between, you know, different cultures. And uh, I must admit, it's quite refreshing to see the number of people here. You've got different backgrounds, people from all different, you know, countries it seems, and it's, I think it's a really good idea. I like it because at school I work with many Muslim friends and, and it's extended now into my social and outside life as well. It is special because it's um, two groups of people from the city of Leicester working together to do something good. Near Neighbours has really helped by providing the funding for this project so that we can actually run for three hours every Saturday. I think it would have taken a lot longer to set up, but with Near Neighbours, we've actually been able to set up in January when, was, when we really, really needed it, when it was cold. The great thing about this project is that instead of just looking at each other and discussing our differences and similarities, we discover by doing something together just how much we're absolutely in step in outlook and a sense of commitment to people in need. I'd say that most of the volunteers didn't know each other when we first started, uh, but it's so hard to believe when you see them and the way they interact and the way they work together, you can see that some of these guys have really developed some, hopefully, lifelong relationships and friendships.